Hi, I'm Game Nicotera. Y'all ready for this? An injury can be defined as anything that would make you say ouchies afterwards. And I know everyone's had their fair share of injuries, but I wanted to interview someone devoted to the medical field. So this week I sat down with one of NHS's finest, Nurse Candy Goyette. All right, I'm joined here with Candy Goyette. Thank you so much for being on Hamped Up. Thank you for having me. Um, and I guess my first question is, how long have you been uh, dabbling in the medical profession for? 25 years. And what have your jobs consisted of? I worked in labor and delivery at Bay State, and then I worked in surgery for years, and then I became a school nurse four years ago. What would go through your head if you would see a, a student in the hallway walking with their shoes untied? I would, it would make me crazy. I'd close my eyes and shake my head and then encourage them to tie their shoes. Nice, as would I. It's a good, it's a good, <laughs> good suggestion. Do you have any athletes that come into your office for specific injuries that you might treat? I don't typically treat the injuries. Usually it's just an ice or an evaluation, but um, I feel like one of the biggest um, treatments that I take place, take part in here at the school is concussions. Right. Um, and like really like enforcing like resting and the accommodations and half days and things like that and educating. I feel like as a school nurse, that's one of the best um, things that we can educate and kind of treat kids because it's, a, it's not a prescription. You just kind of treat them for, symptomatically. So I would have to say that that would be one of the biggest. I gotcha. Well, thank you for being on Hamped Up this week. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Even I myself have been injured many times throughout my adult life. The most painful injury I can remember would date back to second grade when I thought it would be a fun idea to jump off the roof of my dad's van onto about a foot of snow. Long story short, I ended up breaking the growth plate in my heel, which sucked a lot. Unfortunately, for some of NHS's athletes, injuries have been somewhat prominent in the past few years. I wanted to sit down with a victim of one of the worst injuries known to man, a torn ACL. So I sat down with Sophia Bennett regarding everything she's gone through. Hi Sophie, thank you for being on Hamped Up. Of course, always a pleasure. So as I'm sure most of the world now knows, um, last year you tore your ACL mid-game. You wanna take me through how that happened? So basically, it was the sixth game of a tournament, championship game for my summer team and some girl threw the ball like way over the head of my teammate and it was rolling out of bounds and I wanted to save it because it was a very close game and we was playing for the championship and so I went for one of the one-handed SC top 10 kind of save. Right, something you see on TV. Yeah, exactly. It's very like, you know, renowned. And I saved the ball and I ran out of bounds and I was going very fast, like my top speed, and I stopped short to avoid hitting my own father because I was about to run into him. And your father's an author, right? We couldn't have anything happening to him. Yeah, it's a very just, he's already gone through like surgery as well, so I didn't want to, you know, do anything bad to him. And basically my foot to my knee stopped moving and then the rest of my body kept going forward and everyone heard a pop and yeah. Do you want to walk me through the restrictions that come with tearing your ACL, like both physical, mental? Um, well, first, like mentally, it was very challenging because I went from playing lacrosse every day, all year round, to not being able to do it for uh, nine months, as you said. And that was very hard. It was hard at first, and I didn't really like, you know, really think about like the consequences of me not being able to like move and walk for a few weeks. Well, I'm glad you're back on the field. Good luck in your game. As am I. And thank you for being on Hamped Up. Always a pleasure. My message to all of the spring sport athletes right now is to just stay safe for the rest of the season. That's what I'm trying to do at least. Thank you for watching Hamped Up. I'm Gabe Nicotero.